And the geometry tools, now available in Blender 4.0, just keeps giving. At this point, there is literally little to nothing you cannot do with the geometry node, as this offers way more stuff than we initially thought was available. And today we're going to go through some of the incredible things that is now available in the geometry node, including the fact that you can now create your very own menu and also create tools that you can use to manipulate any geometry inside of Blender. A huge shout out to Jackie's Luke for actually doing a small demo about this one. So by default in 4.0, if you go over to the geometry nodes, you would notice that right here, we have two modes, the modifier and the tool. So the modifier node is basically the one that applies to the modifier section. So if we click on new, you get to find that here. But then if you're thinking about creating a tool, how you can create tools now are very easy. These tools can be reused over and over and making them is as easy as going over to the modifier section, select these as tool and creating tools can be as easy as throwing in a transform, connecting the rotation to the group input node, because this is the parameter we would like to change over time. So if you have multiple parameters, you like to change, you can simply put all of these into the group input node. Of course, we're going to do some multiple ones later, but right now, if you take a look at the top bar, you would notice we have types and modes. There's the edit and also the sculpting mode. And for the types, you would see that we have the mesh and the curve mode. So depending on what you want to do, you can use any of these modes when creating your tools. So in this case, we're just creating the tool for our edit mode. And if we select the object and jump into the edit mode, you would notice we have a button. That button currently just has the word tools in there and we can proceed to rename that button. So if we type in the word rotate automatically, that button changes to rotate. And if we click on that, it executes and runs that node. So from here, we can do any rotation that we want. At any time you want to update this, you can. So in this case, we can go ahead and throw in a scale and set that scale to maybe 10. And if we go back and run this, you'd also notice that we can run the scale based of our scaling factor. We can set that to 100 and you'd also notice that automatically updates. So whatever you do within the geometry node, whether the tool is running or not, this would automatically update. And to any tool that you've created, that can be used on any model within the edit mode. So to create a new tool, you need to click on this button, which creates a new tool. And we're going to do a simple extrude. So we can drag in that extrude, throw that in, connect the first one, come through and connect the offset over to this section. Now we've made other videos where we talked about how you can use geometry nodes to do some modeling in terms of using selections and how you can work with selections, multiple stuff like that. So you can proceed to check out those videos and see how you can work with this one, just in case you're trying to create a specific extrude node tool. So for this one, we're going to simply name this as extrude and we're going to hit the enter key. If we go back to our mesh and jump in to the edit mode, if we click on this button and go over to extrude automatically, you notice the extrude clicks in. So we can play with offset however we want. And like we mentioned earlier, all of this is things that you can update on the fly. So we can come here, make another update. And then we could say we would like these other offsets to apply to this section. We can also say we would like to extrude only the top or the sides, and we can set this as a selection. And once we go back in here, we can select that extrude and this would automatically update. That's why the fact that you're creating these tools and you can manipulate these tools. The beautiful thing is this is creating geometry that you can use. So we can simply come in here and do a shift D to make a copy and throw in a wireframe and simply just get that going. So in this way, you can create some multiple complex stuff very easily. And you simply have your procedural tools that you can always rely on and use over and over. Moving on, you can create as many tools as you want. In our case, we went ahead and created an array tool by simply using the repeat node tool alongside a few other tools, plug in the necessary parameters and you can use these for literally any model you want. So you want a custom array tool, build it. You want something that can help you model faster, build it. Are there certain operations that you want to incorporate with the geometry node? You can now build these things as tools and use them as many times as possible. The whole idea that you can now create your very own custom macros or scripts by simply using geometry node 
is a huge deal without even writing a single line of code, just simply using Geometry Node and building tools for yourself and tools that you can redistribute over time is definitely one of the cool features and things coming to 4.0. With this out of the way, let's talk about how you can create your very own custom tool menu. So we've seen how you can create tools, but creating a custom menu is also something that I believe a lot of people would want to see and explore. So with all of these tools we've created here, how you can create your own tool menu is very simple. All you need to do is click on a new panel, switch over to your asset browser, go over to your current, and then you can save all of this. So in this case, I can simply go ahead and save this one, click as Mac asset, and that way you can save it. And you can do that for every single one. And now that you're done with it, you can now go over to the all section, click on the drop down, and create a catalog. So I'm just gonna call these my tools and I can click again and then define this. So for example, I can call this my meshes. Actually, you can name this anyhow you want. And directly under this, I'm also going to call these tool sets. You can actually name these whatever you want. Generators, tool set, that is totally up to you. So from here, I would like to get the cone over to my meshes. I would also want to get the cube over to my meshes. And I would want to get the grid over to my meshes while these other ones would exist within tool set. So from repeat to rotate all the way to extrude. And once you have this, how you get to find them is really easy. Any point in time, say for example, you throw in a simple torus and you have this torus selected. If you press the tab key, you would notice that right now we have my tools, which is corresponding with the title we named this earlier. So we can click on that and you now notice we have submenus that corresponds with our previous naming. So you can go over to my tools, you can select any of these ones and throw them in, and you can also go over to tool set and throw these ones in. So we can do that simple rotate that we looked at earlier. And right now you notice we threw in the scale. So we can rotate these however we want. We can play with the unit of scale, how we want this to rotate faster, slower, whatever we want, we can do that. At the same time, we can also have this selected and we can go over to where we have the repeat and we can do that same repeat stuff. So we can say we would like this to repeat within the Y axis and we can repeat this as much as we want. We can rotate this as many times as we want and you can start creating fantastic looking art by just simply using your geometry nodes and creating amazing tools for yourself. So this is it for those who are thinking about exploring this and potentially you like to get this links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. For those who haven't seen the full video where we talked about lots of features and cool things coming over to Blender, links to that is going to be in the description. If you haven't seen the videos about shading or probably rigging, links to that is also going to be in the description. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.